Hey guys, Henry here. Today we're going to be making Gideon's Bakehouse Cookies. For this recipe, we'll need 5 tablespoons of unsalted butter, 3 tablespoons of vegetable shortening, 1 cup of dark brown sugar, 1 egg, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, 2 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and 1 and a half cups of dark chocolate chips. To a medium-sized metal bowl, I added my butter and vegetable shortening. I'd never worked with shortening before, so I wasn't really sure how to go about getting it out of the measuring spoon. So I just carved it out with a butter knife, which worked well. I then added my brown sugar and creamed the ingredients together using an electric mixer. Next, I added my egg and vanilla extract and whisked that all together. Then I added all my flour, baking soda, and salt and combined them. There was a gigantic heap of dry ingredients, so I wasn't exactly sure if they would combine properly, so by the time it was fully whisked, the dough was very dry and crumbly. To combat this, I added a tad bit more butter and another egg, since the recipe closed for a large egg and the egg I added was pretty small. That did the trick. Next, I added most of my chocolate chips to the batter and stirred it up. The dough was now complete, so I rolled it up into balls that were slightly tall, placed them about an inch apart, and brought it up to the fridge. That's gonna rest for about two hours, so while we wait, let's talk about these cookies. Gideon's Bakehouse cookies are insane. While they have a simple recipe, it's effective enough for them to be rated one of the best cookies in the world. They're sold at Gideon's Bakehouse in Orlando, Florida, and lines to get them can be hours long. They're made by making a dough, resting it in the fridge, baking them until they're very slightly underdone, and pressing chocolate chips into them. The recipe I used in this video was made by Marley's Menu, and it apparently took them two years to make, so huge thank you to them. The link to their recipes in the description. Cookies originated back in Persia in the 7th century, though earlier, less sweet versions have existed for an extremely long time time. In 711, Muslim forces invaded Spain, spreading cookies to Europe. Eventually, they caught on and they became commonplace throughout the continent. The word cookie comes from the Dutch word cookie, which means little cake. The modern version of the cookie wasn't created until the 18th century in Britain when the Industrial Revolution was going on and large baking companies started to form. Anyway, let's get back to baking. Finally, after two hours, I brought them down from the fridge and placed them in the oven. These cookies have a surprisingly short bake time, about 12 to 14 minutes. When they came out of the oven, they were just slightly underdone, which was perfect for these cookies. I grabbed my remaining chocolate chips and gently patted them on the cookies. I thought this would be easy, but the cookies were very round, so they would fall off the top onto the pan. When I tried to retrieve them, they were already 90% melted, so they were hard to grab. This was a very messy process, but I got it done. Finally, I plated a cookie and... They were excellent. The flavor was very mellow. It was very similar to a normal cookie with stronger notes of brown sugar. The dark chocolate chips counterbalanced the light, sweet taste of the cookie. I kind of wish the chips were a little bit lighter as I think it would have boosted the flavor. Overall, I highly recommend you make these. They're absolutely delicious, very inexpensive, and easy. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. It means a lot and it helps me do these kinds of projects in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.